Welcome back. We're getting ready for ice season. As you can see, we're going to put some Hayfax runners on our otter sled. We did one last night and uh, it turned out okay. We learned a few tricks as we were going along and uh, putting it together. And we'll do that tonight and it definitely will speed it up. So if any of you guys are uh, having to do this yourselves, uh, hopefully we can share some of our tips and tricks with you and speed it up because it will definitely speed it up. We we're hoping to be on the ice already, but uh, yeah, it's just not cold enough. It started out cold and uh, yeah, it, it warmed up and now we're <laughs> looking at plus four or plus five for, for the weekend. So that's not good. That's not going to make much ice, but we'll get out there. It might be another week or two. But to get started on this, the process is... Uh, Fairly straightforward. I'll go over the tools I'm using. Uh, these, I found that using a rubber mallet and pounding them into place works uh, the best. So I will start off with that quick and I'll get these all in there and then I'll kind of go on to the next steps that kind of speed this up. So bear with me as I make some noise. All right, so now once I have them all pounded in there and make sure they're all pounded up straight to the top there as best you can. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna drill out a pilot hole for the, uh, for the little bolts that come with it. And I'm using a 1 8 inch drill bit and that's smaller than the bolt. And so what we found, if I use 1 8 then I drill in and the threads on the bolt will actually catch and hold everything in place so that when it goes time to putting the, the nut on the other side, everything is secure and it speeds it up like a lot. I'll kind of show you that as I go. First, I'll just drill these, these through here and I'm using one eighth inch drill bit. So I'll screw, uh, drill these through here. Switch out. If you had two drills, <clears throat> this would speed up quite a bit. And it's uh, just an Allen bit is the one. I forget what size that is on there, but it's an Allen bit. It's not a, it's not a Phillips or a Roberts. It's, uh, it's an Allen bit. And when it comes time to the next part here, we're outside in a heated garage. So if you're doing this in the cold, you may need to heat these up for a step that's going to come up here in a bit when you're forcing these down along your your runners but uh for us we've warmed them up inside and then we've got the heat on in the garage so it's uh it'll be all right for us but if you're doing this in the cold you would have to uh to heat this up some guys use like a heat gun maybe a hair dryer would work i'm not sure if a hair dryer would get hot enough but it, it might but for now we're out you know we're outside in the heated shop so it's not it's not too bad and this is where trick comes in because of the, you can hear it, you can hear it just bite right in. And now that holds, it's actually holding into the threads of bit into the plastic in the sleigh. And that will speed this up a lot.
And I will flip it over, or flip it up anyway, and we'll put the uh, bolts on and then that whole, all of these will be secured in place and then we will do the next row. Uh, we'll show you that, you just force them down. Once you have this bolted in, don't try and force it down until you put the, the bolt on this side. And then the key is getting this one in and then lining this up straight. You want your, your runners to be true center in your, uh, in your runners here because you don't want it off. It'll track off on you if, you if you have these going all over. So let's us get these nuts on here and go on to the next step. All right, so now the next step, I'm going to push these all down and because it's warm out in the garage and these runners are warm, I can just manhandle them down. So I'm going to drill these 1 8 inch holes into this and then pop these, uh, these bolts in there. So we'll get going on that right now. I just got to keep it straight here too. So now I'm, I'm eyeballing it and I'm keeping this runner as straight as I possibly can. Switch this out. And here it comes with a big washer and a small washer. And so this one here is a small washer and it goes on your little screw or your, your, uh, your nut there, or your bolt, sorry. And uh, you got the small washer for that so it can fit inside of these uh, grooved out, uh, hollowed out uh, spots. And then when you're putting the nut on the other end, it's a little bit bigger washer. Pretty easy to, to tell apart. The bigger washer probably won't even go in here. So I'll get these in. And that's where that one eight inch hole comes in handy. For this is because it just sucks and holds right in. <laughs> And when it does that, this whole process just speeds up drastically. And after this row is in, we'll put the, the nuts on this side. We'll flip the, the sleigh over again and do put the nuts on. And after that, um, I'll just drill all the holes and put all the, the bolts in at once. But this first two rows, just to make sure everything is in there solid and that first bend is, is in there accurate. I'll put the, the nuts on this here right away. Thank you. 
Now we'll throw those nuts on the other side. And this is, uh, what is that, 3 eighths? Yeah, 3 eighths inch uh, driver here to put those, uh, those nuts on. All right, so now we'll just finish. The rest of this now goes pretty quick at this point here, now that you've got this bend in there and it's all anchored down with the, with the nuts and the bolts all in. Now I'm just gonna drill across, keeping everything nice and straight, keeping these as straight as we can and nice and centered on these runners. I'm just gonna go across, drill, and then put uh, the bolts in all the way across and we're getting close to being done. All right, that part's done. Now we just gotta put all the washers on, or the nuts and washers. You don't need two people for this, but it definitely speeds it up. Yeah, two people, you just line it up, keep it straight, drill the holes, pop in the, the bolts. And yeah, it doesn't take long. It's only been at this maybe 20 minutes or not, so. Not even. Flip that around and I'll throw these nuts on there and we will be done. Knock yourself out. Well, that's it. You got her on. Let me get this, get this rope out of the way here. So yeah, that's it. That wasn't too hard. The main reason why we wanted these on here was to hopefully make it a little easier to, to pull on the ice as we pull these out, we've got the two otters and we put a lot of gear, we carry a lot of stuff out on the ice. So we're hoping that these will make it a little bit easier to, uh, to pull on the, on the snow. And uh, two, if we've got one to put the hitch on here to pull it behind a snow machine, I uh, definitely need these. If you don't have these on and you're pulling this with us behind a snow machine, you'll wear out the bottom of your sled and, it's, and that's no good. You'll just destroy your sled in no time at all. So if you're gonna pull this behind a snow machine, definitely need to put these on and yeah we're hoping it makes it a little bit easier to pull pull on the snow and be a little bit easier on our old bodies but anyways we hope you found uh, a trick or two maybe if you have to do this and maybe it'll make it a little bit quicker for you guys but until the next time we'll catch you later